Welcome to Pro Landscape Image Editor, the easiest to use and most robust photo imaging software available today. Let's start a new project and we're going to just uh, take a picture of a customer's house or a building and we're going to go find that picture and bring it into the software and we'll see our picture here. There's the house that we're going to do um, and we notice the sign here so let's go ahead uh, first thing we'll do is cover up that sign. Now we have uh, very advanced cloning tools, uh, brushes where you can replicate areas um, or for simple things like this we can just uh, use like a rectangle area and select an area right here of, of uh, this stone for example and we'll, we'll grab some area of some stone and create an object out of it and then just drag that down and cover up the the sign. We're probably going to cover it up with plants anyway. We can stretch this slightly just to make it fit um, if we need to. And once that's in place, if we want to, we can lock it or actually merge it in with the background image if we want to make that a permanent change. But we'll leave it there for now and then we notice that that, that sign is covered up. Pearl Landscape includes over 13,000 images in the library. All the plants are organized by climate zone. So when you first install the software, what you'll be greeted with is the climate zone map where you can select one or more climate zones, whether in the, you're in the US or Canada, uh, Europe, or anywhere in the world. You can select climate zones to filter out the plants that wouldn't grow in your area. And then down below here, we can see these are our favorites. So you can create our own favorites for those objects that we use all the time. Um, for plants, for example, we can look at plants by category, uh, pavers, we have walls, pavers, boulders, miscellaneous items such as water features, there's decks, putting greens, uh, pools, statuary, windows and doors if we need them. Uh, we also have outdoor living items like outdoor kitchens as well as furniture, fireplaces, pergolas, structures. And of course we can add our own objects to the database as well. Simply take a picture of an object and we can add that to the database. So let's get started on this picture uh, by putting in some grass. We'll select the grass that we want by pressing this EasyScape grass tool, find the grass we want, and then we just simply outline where we want grass. So we just click along where the green dots are, is where we've clicked, and we outline our grass area, and lo and behold, we've just covered that with uh, some nice looking grass. And then from there, we can start putting in our plants. So the first thing I'll do is I'll maybe grab this, this dogwood here. We'll grab it and drag it out. It's a little bit big, so we can size it down to fit move it over here a little bit into place and let's say we want to rotate that slightly just to get it straighten it up we can we can rotate it there and you'll notice that we have um, that tree in place where we want it and then we simply go back and forth to the library we'll put in um, Alberta spruce over here size that down a little bit as well if we need to we can permanently resize these so they don't come in quite as big uh, every time so it kinda depends on you and how you want to see things. We'll come down here and we'll find this holly. We'll put some of those in. If we need to, we can size the first one. We'll adjust it a little bit. Click in a couple more and have those in place. And then let's put in uh, some boxwoods over here. Again, size the first one down. Click a few other ones here. Now one other thing too is as we're creating this design we're also creating an estimate based on our prices. So if we need to we can select a different plant size. We've defaulted those uh, boxwoods to five gallons but we can select a different size and that'll change the price and everything that, that the uh, what goes on the on the estimate that we're going to create. So we put those in. Let's put in these uh, Coreopsis over here. We'll put in a few of those. So, uh, and then we'll come back and put in some flowers across the front. Now let's use these daylilies, and we'll, f we'll, we'll take the first one, we'll size it to fit, and then we right click, and what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate and randomize those. So we're going to click one in here and put in a few more, but we don't want to use exactly the same picture over and over and over, so let's let the software change them all slightly. So you'll notice that 
Some of them are a little lighter, darker, it flipped them around. They just blend a lot better and it's really just an automatic thing that we can that we can do. Once that's done, let's put in some mulch. So we click on this mulch tool. We certainly could have done the mulch first, um, but sometimes it's nice to put the plants in and then just shape the the mulch around the around the, the bedding that you've created. So we'll put that in here, drag it back. Notice that the mulch went underneath all the plants, but above the above the grass. So the layering is done automatically for you. You can certainly move things front to back, and we'll right click to finish. So that's in there. If we need to now, we can put the before picture in. It's just an object, a simple click. We add the before picture, move it up into the corner, and there's another object on there. Uh, to show the customer, we can grow these. We can show them, okay, well, a few years later, it's going to look like this. And, oh, by the way, we can grow in the negative directions to show them when it's installed. It may look more like this. Uh, and then if we, you know, look at our design or meet with them and we want to change something, uh, let's say we don't want to use these anymore, we want something different, we have this quick change option which just allows us to select that plant. Uh, we'll select all three of them. We, we say we want to change it. And let's change that to a barberry and it simply swaps them out. So quick and easy to do that. We could put in hardscapes, uh, we could put a wall around here, we can, sh we can slope walls, put in pavers to, to any shape um, or pattern size. Uh, that's really easy to do as well. So once we finish this, what we're going to do now is uh, we, can, we can actually create a little presentation. Let's say we want to do a little before and after animation that we can do. We can create this animation. We can actually save that out as a movie. Um, if we want to put it on YouTube, share it with a customer, maybe add it to a presentation we're doing at a home show. And other things we can do if we want to get creative or artistically, we can say let's, uh, let's render this as a colored pencil look. And it'll actually just create a little colored pencil look like we hand sketched this. Or we can look at a couple of different ones. Um, Impressionist is a nice color option. Uh, we could even do like a hand drawn or charcoal effect uh, with that as well. So a little few artistic options that we have. And then we can save this file. Um, and then if we want to, we can export it as PDF to email it to someone, print it obviously. Um, or we can, if we're using the Pro Landscape Companion app, the free app that runs on an iPad or Android tablet, uh, we can create a design file that we could actually go out with our tablet and, and show them on the, on the tablet. And if we need to, we can make changes or, or bring, and then bring that project back into here. That's a quick overview of the photo imaging aspects of Pro Landscape, just uh, some of the highlights. Thanks for watching.